So welcome along to a very special evening. It's, this is a Sodality session, and I'm delighted to be joined by a man who goes by the name of J.D. Meatyard, John Donaldson. He is over in Spain in Malaga, and he's going to play us a few songs, and we're going to have a bit of a chat, and uh, we're going to have an enjoyable evening. So good evening, John. How are you over there in Malaga? Uh, we're doing okay. We're doing grand. It's uh, very fun. For you? It's a lovely place to be. Absolutely. And is it warm enough for you? What's the temperature there now? Uh, it's 35 at the minute, uh, uh -huh. heading to 40 by uh, the next 10 days. Then, then the peccas, the freckles and my my gallic skin, yeah. it suffers badly, but I'll get by. You, you're like me, I've, I've got the freckles and that as well. I keep hoping that they're all going to join up together, but it never quite works out like that. <laughs> so, John, what's the first, uh, what's the first song you're going to play us? Well, like Christy McCall and various others, uh, you can't help but being influenced when you're living in uh, down Andalusia, especially when uh, your second home is your bar. As long as <laughs> Sounds good. El Palo. It's a tribute. My experiences. Take it away. Here we go. When us is in a corner of my local check on title, glad you want to check title, glad you when you go. Through dialogue, fucked up headspace, yes, the grande rolling on each day, self Lord Justin, welcome to Bo. Hera to Ra, Andalusia, Hera to Ra, Andalusia, Hera to Ra, Andalusia, la la la, yeah, El Palo. This corner, Macho Verdi, Gold by Gold, my team, Liga team, Celtic, Barca, Malik, when yours. The Tony throws in the bar, so free your ass, it's soon as good for the bio. John has Nazi, welcome to home. Woo! Hera to Ram, Andalusia, Hera to Ram, Andalusia, Hera to Ram. John Peel session way back. I uh, got in the festive 50, as I recall, called Northern Songs, a long way from Andalusia. And the gamer, I hope not. Celebrity lies in the gutter, and Nutter says you're fucking dead. Nutter turns to me and says, Tell your cult pop star friend I'll shoot him in the head. Nutter turns to me and says, I'm a bit of a bitty. 
the smell of hair and a burning candle, not the nicest thing I've ever known. Well, it's a northern song. It's a northern song. It's a northern song. It's a northern song. Door. I can't stand it anymore, I laugh and I shout. Fuck off and die, Bailey. Fuck off and die. Well, it's a northern song. It's a northern song, yeah. It's a northern song. It's a northern song from hell. Bobby, I talk and bail it. I sing my father. I sing my father. Thank you. Very good. I didn't swear on the John Peel session. <laughs> Was that because you wouldn't have got the fee from them if you had? Uh, very lightly. Very lightly. Very lightly. So, we do rise, I think. Rise. They bury you alive. They bury you alive. They bury you alive. And you don't realize. They take you for the ABC for a supply. They raise you hypnotized, and you must realize, can't you see, they're taking us for a cruel ride. Say a prayer for your brother, your sisters and the other, we gotta fight for one another. They fill your heart with molten lead, they treat you till you're dead. They'll take away the air we breathe and poison us instead. We must realize it's the people they despise. They're purging their pandemic as they sit and fucking watch us die. Say a prayer for your brothers. Your sisters and the other, we gotta fight for one another. We gotta fight for one another. We gotta fight for one another. We have the same. 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 It's so changed and nothing's changed. Every club the same name. It's so changed and nothing's changed. The eugenics club, you see us dirty DNA. It's all changed, fuck all's changed. Eugenics club, you see us dirty DNA. Nothing's changed. Nothing's fucking changed. I despair, man. So. Anarchy, sedition, sedition, strike, sedition, rise, riot, rebel, mutiny, revolt. Rise, rise, revolution, revolution, rise, rise, rise. Gotta run them, Sam. We gotta run them, Sam. We gotta run them, Sam. We gotta rise. Hey, man. Great stuff. 
Oh, that's okay. You can edit all the politics out. <laughs> Wouldn't leave us with much, would it? <laughs> I write love songs and lost songs. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. And you actually did see Perubu at Eric's. I did, yes. I saw Perubu at Eric's, the most amazing place. Uh, Liverpool CBGB was Eric's. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that point, there, there couldn't have been a better band to see. They're a bit loud, aren't they? I never got to see them. But, uh... Oh, Jesus. When David Thomas came walking on the stage with a, uh, like a, a giant hammer, breaking bricks and a yeah. big giant piece of metal and that was him and he just walked out into stage and then like <laughs> man what is this it was incredible uh they were they've been very nice they've been very nice about that song they changed the video on it they took it on there they have a radio show and stuff oh they, wow okay yeah and they got in touch and they were lovely uh he knows what it is the lyric is is only uh ubu song titles Mm -hmm. I have a habit of doing this, yeah. and I like doing it. It's a yeah. tribute to me. It's a tribute. Yeah, I yeah. think other people say, "What's well, a crock of shite?" Because what is it? <laughs> well, no, it's a true. I honour them. I honour their songs, and I made them into a, a sort of narrative. You know, and he enjoyed that. He thought it was very funny. The, the yeah. uh, now he's a star, an absolute gem. Um, we all have. Well, I, I don't know. I consider I have lots of life changes, and uh, Uber Eric's was one of them. I've not seen anything like it before. <laughs> Excellent. Great stuff. 
this so are you going to do another song now or do you want another chat and then do some more songs up to you uh, you talk to me for a minute and I'll just get my magic uh, tuner thing on. Okay, so Eric's is obviously a, an iconic place in Liverpool. Um, yeah, of course, yeah. You uh, spent quite a bit of time there. Who else did you do you remember seeing there? Um, at Eric's, actually, not many. Um, no, it wasn't, it wasn't, that, wasn't that many. But I lived there for a few years and then we had Pro Plus, Pro Plus on one side. Uh, the cavern on the other, mm -hmm. yeah. Matthew Street and Eric's yeah. sort of in between. Yeah, that was a rock and roll street. And is mm -hmm. it is it the John Lennon statue that's there? Is it? Uh, no, it's not. It's well, it, I think it's where they had the uh, four lads who shook the world, wasn't it? Wasn't that? It could be Eleanor yeah. Rigg statue or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible place. It's just been hit badly, I think. Um, it's just been hit badly. Uh, they've lost the whatever you call it. What's the international global thing for a, a nice place? Uh, right, yeah, the um, yeah, the uh, city yeah. of culture. Was it the city of culture? The um, world heritage, yeah. world heritage site. Um, but it's a, it's the usual thing. It's the usual thing. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's in Manchester as well. I've been in Manchester for a while and everywhere else I know. And it's about New York, East Village, everywhere else. Yeah. Uh, um, once the, uh, the the irony of the name developers, when they're, 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 they're not the developers, they're the, they're the destroyers. Yeah, absolutely. They're not down a beautiful part of Lime Street in Liverpool. It mm -hmm. was amazing coming out yeah. of this street and walking along. Now, and they don't get it at all. They're so fucking daft. They knocked it all down, rebuilt it, crap. Then I have pictures of what it used to be. Yeah, <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> they yeah. want to rub it in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was two original Art Deco uh, places there within that within that street, and they uh -huh. were beautiful. Yeah, they a lot. Yeah, yeah. They might be, I might be wrong. I might be too cynical, but it seems like the, the developers have their hand in in everybody's and every mayor of every city's. Uh, yeah, well, I think that's why Liverpool's lost its world heritage status because of the development. Because I think um, Everton Football Club are going to put a brand new spanking stadium up down there on the docks and that. And uh, as a result, are knocking down a load of old uh, warehouses and that, which obviously had a lot of historical importance. Yeah, there's some great, they did a gig, well, yeah, when we were digging for coronavirus, uh, way up the, the, the top end of the docks. I'd never been up there before. Mm. I'm not sure if it was Dundee Street or something like that, in a place there. My God, it was amazing. Yeah. Some of, these, some of these, like, you know, they're supposed to be terrible, horrible, whatever buildings just for storage. They were marvellous. Mm. Gigantic yeah. tobacco and all the yeah. stuff that uh, they were bringing into Liverpool. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, yeah, if they keep knocking them down, hey, what can you say? It ain't, a, it ain't our business, I suppose. But you've got to make a noise, I think, in my, in my view. Yeah, absolutely. It's all about the money, isn't it, unfortunately? Yeah, yeah. I hate it. I hate it for them. Are you ready for a new, another song? Yeah, of course. It's all comments, as we do. If we can find it. Hope oh, we can edit this. Remember the dancing down in Bruges, trance on stage in the dancing club, table tension, smashing glass. I think I might return to mass. The cops and the firemen flee on the show, They're taking the girls out of the door, and hoping they gaze back at the stage, laugh. Best friends of mine. Stage at a block, you know, Doug Marader banging show, Checkpoint Charlie's Amsterdam, Sunford Records in night and day, Long Max Vibe and Frank in Liverpool, Hopstar Gary near in DML, Half Man, Half Biscuit, a cave up the hill, living a life. We were living a life. Black coffee. I 
California. Don't want to die in an empty room. I want the noise that likes the love. Casper's bowling. Don't want to go to California. I don't want to die in an empty room. I want the beats coming through the floor. Casper's ballroom. Casper's ballroom. Trance on the stage and the dancing groove. The table tensions, the smashing glass. I think I might return to mass. The cops and the firemen, the freak on the show. They threw the guys out of the door. We opened the gates, back of the stage. Best friends of mine. Best friends of mine. Playing the shows as the best friends of mine. Well, I don't want to go to California. I don't want to die in an empty room. I want the noise, the lights, the love. Cast the ball. I don't want to go to California. I don't want to die in an empty room. I want the peace coming through the floor. Well, Casper's ballroom, Casper's ballroom, thanks Jay. Casper's ballroom, and all the other, the millions of balls across the globe, venues we love. Places we like to play. Thank you. Well, that was Casper's Ballroom by your previous band, Calvin Party. Yeah, I've just changed the lyrics. Uh -huh. The new album. Uh, as a, yeah, as a thing about what we've lost. Yeah, we lost all the gigs and everything, and it was, it's in everybody's mind. Casper's Ballroom was a fantastic place in Hamburg. Okay. And uh, they'd heard uh, uh, they'd heard our stuff on uh, on John Peel, of course. And, yeah. we were, and they wrote to us. We were only booked in through an agent. They wrote to us in those days. There was this thing called envelopes and papers, <laughs> letters. Yeah, Aye, letters. That's it. <laughs> Please, would you come and play at our place? We yeah. will put you up. We see you've got a date missing in your. Uh... So we went down. Ah, oh, fuck it. We've never been to Hamburg. We'll go down, and it was fantastic in the San Paulo district. Yeah. Oh, there was some laughs, yeah, uh -huh. freezing cold, and yeah, it was it was amazing. Casper's boring, fantastic, and yeah, the song is just about that. I'm afraid. So here we go. Cheers. Cheers. And God made the pixies. And God made the big sin. So take off your dress, send it to me. We could all be the baser. So where is my mind? Send it to me. We're standing on the shoulder. in Salford, all over my Dobbins, who made the Nazis, 
will carry your bag, man. And they'll learn this corner. Hats off to the hip, please. We're standing on the shoulder. Standing on the shoulder. Standing on the shoulder. Is it that song, man? Standing on the shoulder. Standing on the shoulder. Standing in the shadows. Is it that song, I work through the veil of the already spoken and the already said, you know, the mold is rarely broken. Jonathan Richmond, faster miles an hour. Radio, radio, radio one. It's a Should have been here. John Lennon should have been here. I don't know, we all make fucking mistakes. All you need is love. 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 We're standing on the shoulder. Standing on the shoulder. Standing in Shadows of pets and men when it's brilliant, brilliant. I love that song. Thank you. Love that song, I really do. I, I do thought you were gonna forget Dick Gochen as well, but you didn't, you got him in there. <laughs> yeah, I do regret my omissions. <laughs> does that is that does that uh, song change from each time you play it live? Is it just uh Whoever comes into your head at the time. No, it's most. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand that. No, it's most of the same except for the the Lou bit. Uh -huh. I just seen Lou in Manchester, and then I didn't know at the time. I mean, it was an awkward. It was a, a yeah. Yeah, it yeah. Was, well, we know him, but it wasn't good to hang around, and uh, it could be awkward, and it was a bit um yeah. But that shouldn't have. Uh, that was my flaw. That that shouldn't have. In terms of who influenced me, who was writing a thick piece of that. Yeah. How could I possibly let him out because of that? I yeah, mean, it, it didn't fall it. Obviously, now they've been okay. But uh, just being an arse on stage and that, Jesus, after what he'd done for me, yeah. that was definitely my mistake, for sure. For sure. So 
how people pick up girls and they get called asshole. This never happened to Pablo Picasso. The car down the street doesn't have resistance to stare. Pablo Picasso, he never got called an asshole. Girls would turn the color of an avocado. He drove down the streets in his El Dorado. Pablo Picasso never got called an asshole. Pablo Picasso never got called an asshole. Not like me. Not like you. He was only five foot three, but girls could not resist his stare. Not in New York, anyway. Ah, it's fine. He was only five foot three, but girls could not resist his stare. Not in New York, you know. That's right. Be not a smoking up now, just be not butter El Dorado. This is the story of Pablo Picasso. He could walk down the street, and girls could not resist this stare. Pablo Picasso. A Malagueño never got called an asshole. Too bad. That's right. Some people big up girls and they get called asshole. This never happened to Pablo Picasso. The Malagueño, the Malagueño, yeah, Malagueño, that. Pablo Picasso. Gamika calls. Gamika calls. Pablo Picasso never got called an asshole. Thank you. Hey, very good. Yeah, Pablo Picasso. What a man. A Malagueño. He left when he was about 15, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a big influence there, though, in Malaga, where you live, of, of him? There has to be, yeah. They, they've, yeah. Uh, aye, they're certainly using him. They, of course they would. Certainly a few years back, when before Malaga as a city became uh, the city that is now, much more popular for uh, tourists and that. Uh, yeah. Castle Museum and everything else. Uh, mm -hmm. Castle Streets and all that sort of stuff. But he left, him and his family left. I think they left when they were, he was about 15. And they went up to uh, Barcelona. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then for most of his life, I think, actually, uh, most of his life was spent in Paris. Well, OK. That, that was a big place. Everybody yeah, was yeah. in Mallorca was there. Everybody yeah. was in Paris at that time. People from America, mm -hmm. all over the place. Paris was the, uh, that's where things were happening. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, what an influence. And the Guernica thing, uh, book I just read, uh, The Castle's War. And it's all yeah. about Guernica the Pym and that. My God, what a story. Mm. Yeah, an yeah. iconic painting of his, isn't it, Guernica? Oh, God, I and the, the museum thing they have up there with the light that's not a light thing. You sit down in uh, in Guernica itself, mm. or Guernica, as they say, and uh, you the whole wall opens in front of you with this gigantic scene of the bombing and stuff. Jesus Christ, mm. unbelievable! Mm. Un unbelievable, indeed. So here we are. You took the Hollywood dream. You kicked it in the head. The scope of Phil is of you. Well, they took to the jail. You need it more than the fakery Hollywood dreams You're the woman of steel that breaks all the rules You break all the rules Talking with you, Salvador Allende Along the playa, your spirit is true Giving the world a revolution I think we can learn from you Tina, I learned from you. Pictures of roses and lilies and the workers' parade. All the pictures you created 
what a role you play. The bandoliers, bullets, and the nice guitars, the hammer and the sickle, and the workers will be. And the workers will be. Walking with you, Salvador and along the playa, your spirit is true. Working and seeing the evolution. Tina, we can learn from you. Tina. I learned from you. Yes, Anybody there? <laughs> yeah. From Berlin to Hollywood, they know your name. For you, a hero, this wasn't a game. In Mexico City, they took you away. I've got you in the ether down Malaga way. You changed my life. If you're going to Almeria, breathe in the spirit of Tina. If you're going to Almeria, breathe in the loving of Tina. A revolution that is she was my Tina. She flies it on a single Tina. You can't be not out of here. Tina, hey, are you there? Are you there, Tina? I can feel it, I can hear you. Very good. I have to ask, who is Tina? Tina Madotti. Okay. Painter. Uh -huh. Yeah. I uh, know, sorry. Photographer. Uh, great photographer. She started off very briefly. She started off as a bunny lassie in Hollywood with an Italian dad and a Spanish mother. And uh, she somehow got involved with Frida Kahlo. Uh, there was everything Frida Kahlo was, but Frida Kahlo was a revolutionary. Mm -hmm. Changed yeah. her life. She abandoned everything. She got flights everywhere. She came over. I'm pretty certain she was on the streets that I walk now in El Palo. As the fascists were arriving with the Germans on the boats outside and yeah, and the tallies as well, bombing every fucker leaving Malaga. Uh, Tina would be here trying to help. Wow. And there's a big tunnel up the road there that's famous for a Canadian guy who came down trying to help, a doctor. And she was linked with him. So I'm, I'm betting she's here. So they inspired that. My God. I might walk the same fucking streets as Tina Madonna. I mean, what can you say? <laughs> what can you say? One of her photographs. Oh, wow. No, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, and she went, yeah. uh, she escaped here. Uh, when the Francoists did the business, she escaped in time and uh, went to Germany for a bit. And uh, I have a big thing there, Tina Madonna thing up there and uh, there's actually she only spent a few weeks in Berlin and now there's a museum for her in Berlin a very small place and that mm -hmm. and she escaped everything, she gave up everything to help, fantastic yeah. and then she ended up back in Mexico of course seeing fear and that and uh, how weird eh? she gets in a taxi and comes out dead yeah. she doesn't deserve a song of mine and uh, what, else, what else are you going to write to them no <laughs> Excuse me, sir. No, no, you carry on. So you've got a new album you're hoping to record soon, I believe. Yeah, a lot of these songs now, the Tina song and various others are all for, for that new album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and hopefully, uh, I, I'm, it was supposed to, it was been moved again yeah. uh, in October in Liverpool. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, the half man after support gig we have with our friends in Probe, uh, that's off in Blackpool. That's been cancelled. Right. So every, I think we're going to move everything, the new recording and everything, through to October. No, yeah. November. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and we're playing at Humf, a place called Humphrey. I don't know if you southerners know. A beautiful Lovely. venue called the Picture Drum. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And we're doing a bit of uh, biscuit support there. And I think we'll rearrange the studio sessions to go with that. And then hopefully that comes up. But just, just in the last few hours, the, uh, the word, the feedback is all changing again. And uh, who knows? My partner, mm -hmm. Shoshi Deer, Miss Dish has popped in to come down. Uh, come down to Manchester on, on Monday and uh, now it looks like, well, maybe actually it won't be. Things are changing by the day. Mm. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. So there is a new album. No, it's a new double album. No, 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 it's a new triple album. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of songs there. So yeah, it's going to happen at some point. So that, 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 that's, for, that's for sure. So I'm just trying to like be professional. Yeah. And everybody that knows me wants to laugh at that. Ah, there you go. Sorry to friends that I was mean to Cruel, bad or just dumb I'm sorry to some girls for all of my sins And doing things that I shouldn't have done Oh, I'm sorry I'm sorry to my mother and I'm sorry to my father and I'm sorry to my sisters and my brother. I could have been nicer and kinder and fairer, but then for me, I would have been another. Oh, I'm sorry now. Sorry, my dear, for all of those years I grew up a lesser man. Your patience astounding, your loyalty flounding as I wandered, stupid a man. And to all of my kids, I tried, I tried, but I was a child myself. To Johnny and Tom and Jane and we, Robert, please think of me well. Think of me well when I'm. But I'm guilty of sin and I'm bound to write Me a culpa, eternity I'm guilty of sin and I'm bound to write But I'm not the man that I was that day And I'm guilty of sin and I'm bound to write Guilty of sin and I'm bound to rise me a culpa all eternity. But I'm not the man that I was that day. At least I fucking hope not anyway. Thank you. Very good. A ballad. A ballad. <laughs> okay. Um, the peel thing. Yeah. You were going to have a mention of the Peel thing, yeah? To do something? Yeah, tell us about John Peel then. I can only tell you the bits, the, the wee bits, and he was, he was a great guy. Uh, everybody says the same, but oh, not everybody, but yeah, most people say the same. Yeah. A lovely guy. Great to be in his company. Yeah, he mm -hmm. was uh, dead witty, dead savvy. He knew the shit. Christ, he'd been along before the BBC, virtually before the BBC had started. He was on Radio Luxembourg and all that. Yeah. He was one of the originals on Radio 1 as well, wasn't he? Yes. Uh, and it was great. And for me, a fantastic thing. And like, uh, I speak, I, I know for once, I can safely say I speak for many, many other people uh, under the radar there. Uh, it was, uh, Sadie? Oh, can you get me a beer at the fridge? Yeah. I know it's live. Uh, <laughs> I know it's a live show. 
but he backed you. And, and once he backed you, it, it stick with you. It was fantastic. It, it, was, it was bloody brilliant. You could have come on TV. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. And I think that the, 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 um, we met him in Manchester. He didn't ever come to these because he didn't live near the uh, Maida Vale. He lived out in East Anglia somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I was there at his, his house at one point and all that. And we met him with, uh, can't even remember his name. Anyway, uh, doing a session in Manchester for the BBC. One of his, but it was a peel session yeah. in Manchester. And he was there and it was lovely. It was, mm -hmm. it was such a great guy. And then you get Howard, which we did, and they were absolutely right. The review of us, as level as five it was, uh, like a bunch of kids pissed in a music shop. It was absolutely, absolutely right. Uh, completely. I had no argument with it. Okay. Uh, in a gig in London. But of course, what does Peel do? He said, I'm not having this. The same night that the NME came out that night, that day. Yeah. Peel said, I'm not having this. He says, uh, in fact, I know they've just done a session last month or whatever it was. I'm going to invite them for another session to prove them wrong. Brilliant. And as things were changing, Calvin Party and all that, yeah. I had a few phone calls with him and he just said, uh, whatever you... <laughs> He did say it. I could say anything, you know, but he did say it. He says, listen, John, you, whatever you write, it's, it's on. Whatever you call Calvin Pye, whatever you call, uh, send me your stuff. Send it straight to the house, not to the BBC. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'm playing it for you. Oh. Uh, and the phone calls, I will never, ever forget the torrent of phone calls. And it was like a torrent because of the news that was coming in. I was yeah. living in, uh, I think I just arrived in Spain, I think, at the time. I've been not, I don't yeah, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, no, no, in fact, I was still in, I was living in Liverpool at the time. Uh, and, uh, oh, Christ, the phone wouldn't stop. Everybody from bands, from pals, from, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure I was around if, when President Kennedy died, but uh, I'm sure it would have been the same. It was just mm. a, incredible. He was a great man. Yeah, absolutely. He was savvy as well. And you did you, know, you, you wouldn't like every song you played, but you know you knew in after two songs or whatever, and he'd introduce you to material that you'd never heard. You would, you would never buy that. Yeah. And nobody else was yeah. speaking about it. Nobody else was writing about it. No. But here we go, John Peel, bang, get that. And I wouldn't be sat here talking to you now if it wasn't wasn't for him as well. So you know. <sighs> Here's John. Absolutely, great man. You join me in a while. <laughs> Okay, so this song. Do that. Sunday morning. Oh, sweet nothing. A fucking ocean. She's my best friend. I walk on the wild side. She's my best friend. European sun. Well, I'm sticking with you. I'm beginning to see the light. I found the reason to see the light. Sister Ray heard her call my name on tomorrow's parties. Sister Ray, I heard her call my name for all tomorrow's parties. Oh, candy sales, men of good fortune, yeah, a perfect day on the dirty boulevard. Give me some good times on the dirty boulevard. I'm set free. I'm hanging around. Yeah, my femme fatal. That's the story of my life. Good night, ladies. That's the story of my life. That's the story of my life. Sister Ray, I heard her call my name for all tomorrow's parties. Sister Ray, I heard her call my name 
but all tomorrow Songs, uh, tribute to Lou Reed and the Velvets. Yeah, yeah. And it's that's not lazy, though, is it? I don't think it's lazy. I don't, and that's what I want to fucking do. Um, yeah. All those songs made a, in a particular bar. I remember getting in a, arriving in a particular bar a long, long time ago, and uh, this song fucking came on. And, like, it caused it caused arguments throughout the packed bar. All the girls, a lot of the girls were pill popping, and a lot of the boys were doing shit and this and having a good time. And walking the wild side comes on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everybody's like, what the fuck? And some are saying, what the fuck? In a good way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this lassie pushed her face right in my face and said, he's ripping off Leonard Cohen. <laughs> oh, well, maybe so. He certainly made a difference. And I don't mind writing about those songs. Not at all. Makes the wars tanks and things, makes the wars bombs and things. It makes the wars killing the planet, fucks the pain, killing the planet. It's not the poor, that I'm sure. It's not the poor, that I am sure. Killing the oil, killing the bees, killing the soil. It makes the money draining our planet, makes the money killing the planet. It's not the poor, but that I am sure. It's not the poor killing the planet. Start again. Before it's too late. <laughs> I 
you. Very true. Very true. Brilliant. Okay. Um, How are you doing? I'm grand. Grand. Um, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, man. So was that a new one that, that you just played then? Seems uh, very, very pertinent to these times. Uh, that was on the, the latest album, the last album, the Bat Chain Pullers. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was on that was on there. Uh, and that's a reference to um Captain Beefheart, isn't it? Yes, right? yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah, yeah. Uh, Another was, influence. Yeah, absolutely of course. I saw him at uh Nebworth Festival. Uh, Pink Floyd was top of the bill. Yeah. And uh I remember when it was packed and a few star type people were on and then Captain Beefheart came on and everybody pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> they left the field after half a song. Uh, apart from those crazy people that stayed there. And uh, I was in the corner house, uh, I think, uh, cinema in Manchester when there was a television in the bar and all that. And it was announced when he died. Ah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It was great. I, I, know, say, I don't play him every day, uh, but when I do play him, I have a spell and I lock into him. And, uh, oops, and uh, I'm, in it for, I'm in it for a while. Yeah, I guess you've got to be in the mood for it, haven't you, really? Yeah. Not, not the most accessible music. No, not at all. But it was something else. And uh, yeah, they've influenced and him and Zappa together. Mm. And Zappa knew his shit as well. Zappa would say things that uh, other people, that they wouldn't have said in them times. They'd have pretended, but they wouldn't have. Okay, I've got two songs. Yeah? Okay. Great. I think. Oh, I've got more, but I, I think we'll... Uh, <laughs> As usual, I don't know how many songs titles I've, I've stolen off uh, Jim Jarmusch, but yeah, this is another one. See you kill the lions and the tigers and the bears. I see you hang the tiger's head above your big bear. You laughed as you told the tale. Yeah, that sort of misery me. A dream. <laughs> Only lovers left alive. Only lovers left alive. See you wave your money in the poor man's face. Why would you do that? I see you kick the beggar man right in his face. You walk with your head held high. You're the devil in the clear blue sky. Well, I have a dream. Only lovers left So fucking entertained, floating in your bubble of dysentery with your aborigine skull ashtray. Your joy is other people's misery. Yeah. You ain't the guy that I wanna be. You live off hate, hypocrisy. You ain't the girl of love you see in the mirror. Can't you see the stupid fucker in the mirror? Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we've got one song to go. 
Um, been songs from the new album, uh, the, the album that's on its way, uh, songs from Calvin Party there, and songs from, yeah, uh, yeah, the Picasso thing. And, uh, yeah, there's been a mixture of songs. And a, a, lot, a number of new songs from the new album, so I'm very happy with that. Do we have a ballad or do we rock and roll for the last one? <laughs> what do you want to do, boy? Do some rock and roll. Send us on our way with some rock and roll. Okay. You fucking ask for it. Cheers. Cheers. Good help to you. comes our way. I mean everybody. Black, whites, and colors blue. I'm dreaming of the day when love is here to stay. Love for everybody. People, the flora, the fauna too. I'm a fucking dreamer.
stuff thank you um, cheers man any questions before we go i don't think so so um new album when will it be out geez if uh, everything goes to plan do you think uh it'll be in the new year okay i think i think the sessions are i think the sessions are pretty certain to go to uh to november now from october Mm -hmm. and if they do go in November, then it'll be released. Nobody, well, nobody at our level releases anything in January, apparently. Okay. Never get any money. Uh, right. It'll be released probably in February. Here's and if, if you got a title for the album? No, I haven't. I could have made one up instantly, but there's no point. No, I haven't. I'm going to title for it. Uh, this, 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 yeah, there's the same mix of songs. I, I, don't, uh, I don't pretend. There's this political influences. Oh, why the fuck wouldn't it be? If it isn't, you're not alive. Absolutely. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and there's, uh, yeah, love and loss and pain and, uh, and happiness. Jesus, of course. Well, the so, injury yeah. would have said sex and drugs and rock and roll and a bit of politics as well. Indeed, indeed. And yeah. some religion. So I think you've covered everything and football. I think you've covered most, uh, <laughs> you've covered most topics that are worth uh, conversation this evening. I always sneak a wee bit in some, somewhere. Uh, it's, I'm looking forward to it, uh, as we all are. Every, but so many friends, friends, and no, I'm not talking about friends in bands. Friends are just friends. And Christ, they spent all their lives going to shows and stuff, going to gigs. And you've and, got a publisher. You've got a new publisher, I believe. Yes, we have um, uh, Document Records. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very good. Very supportive. Uh, the complete backing. And yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna do the standard practice and the. Uh, under the horizon people we're going to create the album master the album we're going to get the album completely finished and then we're going to rap on the doors and say you don't have to spend a penny would you release this for us and um, so we're going to go to a few have a few ideals uh, of course that will never happen but we're going to approach everybody here's yeah. the album you don't yeah. have to do anything just release the damn thing so we're going we're going to try we're going to go with that and uh I've been told that that will work. I don't know where that's coming from. There's a lassie working for us, works for Document Records in Canada and uh, North America, uh, a good lassie. Uh, and she's keen to uh, support what I do. She hasn't, she's classed me as a, uh, as a, yeah, an activist. Okay. And, uh, so yeah, I'll probably end up being hung by a Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going. To, I'm not going down to America in the deep west. You know, no way. <laughs> uh, so she's Lumiere, she's called, and she's done very well. She's helping document records, and she's going to back me when the new album comes out. So Brilliant. hopefully we get we get it on a. Yeah, I'm, I'm very confident with the uh, Water Museum Studio in, in Liverpool. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, great yeah. studio. And it's released lots of you know high level records and all that sort of thing. Uh, yeah. Loic is a great guy, a Swiss guy, a technician. My God, does he uh, he masters in some some bloody way? If you listen to the last album, it's sharp eyes, and that's what I wanted yeah, yeah. to the album. It's, it's a crap. So yeah, and, it's, it's and if people want to discover some of your older stuff, it's the usual sort of outlets, I guess, is it? So I know you're on Bandcamp and that, aren't you? And yeah, dear, dear old Spotify, I know we can find some of your stuff from that there. Where else can we find your, yeah, your back catalogue? If you give Spotify uh, half a penny, I still won't see yeah, it. Yeah. I never get anything off Spotify, off YouTube, no, or no. anything. The only place, and I'm speaking for many, many uh, sort of uh, music folks now, uh, the only place we get any money from is, uh, well, your PRS. Yeah. I get the uh, Gideon Cole players nowadays and on the BBC and that, so I get money for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and Bandcamp. Yeah. Uh, all the other stuff, because I see it everywhere on Google and on uh, 
Christ, I don't know who advertises my, uh, what do you call it? I don't know who advertises my albums on Amazon. Oh, okay. That's the last one there with a five star review. I've no oh. idea where that money goes. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's the you, norm. You, you helped you help prepare Mr. Uh, propel Mr. Bezos up into space last week or the week before, wherever it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, so all right, for anybody, and by the way, for anybody, if, if anybody sees this, I don't know when this is going to be uh, go official and all that. Uh, but fair play to Bandcamp. Yes, it's a business like everybody else. So at least they give you some of the money. Well, exactly. Yeah. And also, this Friday, it's another one of there for all the artists on Bandcamp. It's it's free to the the artists. Okay. So if anybody spends a fiver on Bandcamp, I don't yeah. get one pound sixty. I okay. get a fiver. Okay. This weekend, this Friday, yeah. I think it runs oh. Friday, Friday to Saturday, and that's not just me. Every artist on Bandcamp. If you ever anybody out there, you're thinking of buying a, I don't know, a track, a song, yeah. anything, yeah. album for a fiver, six, whatever. Well, fucking buy it this week. And then, you know, there's some artists, someone in Manchester, Liverpool or Glasgow can go for a coffee yeah. in the morning. Uh, it does piss me off, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so. I mean, no, can, I don't you think can you're play wrong. Your songs all, you, can, you can play your songs all over the place if you want to, and you don't get a fucking penny. Yeah. I don't get that. I just don't get it. No, I know. It's wrong. It is completely wrong. Yeah. So Bandcamp's the only, Bandcamp's the only, the only place. And, and from when I released the next album, um, all my material is still be on Bandcamp, uh, but it will go on the Document Records as well. Okay. All the Brilliant. all the albums uh, we've negotiated a, a very good with Document Records about okay. all that stuff that I'm completely not interested in. Ten seconds, that's me done with all that. Uh, but they've sorted all that. So right. So we'll be able to find you there in time as well, which would be great. Indeed. Uh, initially, it's uh, JD Meet Your Back. Okay. Um, Listen, hopefully, John... hopefully the Half Marathon Pacific gigs are coming up. Yeah. In, in either October or November, mm -hmm. there'll be a gig in Lancashire around there, maybe in Manchester. Yeah. Uh, uh, the we are the we old time Darwin. There might, there might be a gig there. Mm -hmm. Either in October, and if it's not October, it could be November. Failing okay. that, which will be heartbreaking, it'll be the we'll work around the recording the same week as the Half Marathon Pacific support show we have in uh, January at the okay. Ritz in Manchester. Yeah. And that'll be the same thing. We, we okay. Got in the album, support the biscuits and play a couple of the shows. Great stuff. Well, whenever it is, I will certainly try and get up there and uh, yeah. try and catch up with you. It'd be fantastic to meet up with you. But listen, oh. John, thank you so much for your time this evening. Um, not sure when this will be going out, but it won't be uh, too far off and uh, let you know. And uh, as always, a few times that I've spoken to you, it's been a pleasure to share the time with you. Thank you. You're very kind. Cheers, pal. And to you as well. All the best. Take care. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate.